Now at 9, wildfires continue to burn across our state. Firefighters say it feels like one of the busiest years. See how 2018 measures up to other fires in Utah coming up. And with heavy hearts, family and friends say goodbye to West Valley City Code Enforcement Officer Jill Robinson. Plus, the man overseeing the opioid fight in America makes a stop in Utah. What he says people across the country can learn from our state. Live from Utah's CW30, News for Utah at 9 starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jen Jacobson. Tonight we are tracking a wildfire burning across Utah. The North Eden fire started yesterday afternoon. The fire is burning northeast of Bear Lake near the Utah, Wyoming and Idaho border. In just over 24 hours, the fire has grown to more than 14,000 acres. It's just a few miles away from Cokeville, Wyoming. The aggressive fires jumped over roadways and fire retardant barriers. Several power poles have burned and there are structures on a ranch in danger. So far, no buildings or homes have been destroyed. Fortunately, there are no injuries. And taking a look now, 15 miles southeast of Spanish Fork, we see the battle to contain the coal hollow blaze continues. This fire has charred 26,000 acres. It's only 19% contained. Firefighters warn that there are still many miles of untested fire lines. But on the bright side, officials have reopened Diamond Fork Road. As you can imagine, it's been a busy season for firefighters. It seems like every week they're battling a new blaze. But how does 2018 compare to prior years? Today I spoke to fire officials to find out. Coming up in uh, the full pinpoint weather forecast, Jen. Looking forward to that, thank you. Today, heavy hearts filled the Maverick Center in West Valley City. Family, friends, and the law enforcement community said goodbye to Jill Robinson. She did everything in her power to have fun and enjoy every minute of her life. She was always on the go. Jill was a code enforcement officer. She was murdered in the line of duty last week. Jill is remembered as a loving mother and a loyal friend who will be missed by many. She is so dear. Flags will fly at half staff through the weekend for fallen firefighter Matt Burchett. Tonight, we spoke to his friend and police chief about Burchett's service as a firefighter. Tropical moisture in a fairly Nice weather pattern. We're smiling at each other because I know. we both sleep in. We're thinking about sleeping in right now. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's like so it. nice, especially on a Saturday morning. That's right. Okay. So, so now, now you know. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thank you. <laughs> now, the archery hunt is opening up this weekend. With that in mind, Curry wants everyone to be extra careful with campfires, especially since they're the third leading cause of wildfires. And with all that air pollution and heat, any relief would be nice. Chief Meteorologist Dan Pope Jones is now to tell us what our chances are. Mm, not very good. Oh, no. Yeah, that's we, terrible. From your local election headquarters, there's good news for voters. A new law prevents the state from selling voter registration information. I met with a citizen lobbyist who spent five years on two bills. He says many people don't realize how significant this change really is. More and more Utah women are putting off having children. Is this a trend or the new norm? Today I learned what factors contribute to such a big change across our state. The case of a dispute between an off-duty police officer and a group of hunters is now headed to to the state Supreme Court. Today I spoke to a former judge who says this case could impact our justice system statewide. Lance Best says he does not want to talk about the case at this time. Other law enforcement agencies we talked to say they also don't want to comment. The Supreme Court is scheduled to review this case this fall. If you had just weeks left to live, how would you spend your final days? That's what an 11 year old girl battling cancer in West Valley had to ask herself after doctors found two tumors in her stomach. Today, I captured some of the final moments of sweet little Carmen McBride, who tells me she's all about living life to the fullest. 80s for highs. I think, though, we'll probably see smoke return with that front because it will be pulling the air from the Pacific Northwest. Ooh, definitely not what we want to hear, but it has been so great to see green in the forecast yeah. for the air quality. Yep. Salt Lake City, that's definitely a nice surprise. Right now it is. That's yeah, the good news. For now. All right, we'll breathe in deep. I'll, pick, I'll get that for you in a bit, but we will have a few thunderstorms a little bit later in the week. I was going to say, any moisture in the forecast, that's going to be really nice to get. Yeah. And those 80s. We can late. breathe again finally. <laughs> Easy. Easier breathing weather. Just yep. need to cross like our fingers that. for better air quality. Yes. It, because this really is going to be a wow weekend, Jen. A big warm up. That's music yes. to my ears. From a Texas girl, I love the heat. <laughs> so keep it coming. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. How would you like eight days in Hawaii on us? Sounds pretty sweet, right? It's easy to enter. Just watch News for Utah at 10 every weeknight until May the 22nd. 
There we'll give you the word of the day. Then just go on out to goodforutah.com slash contest and enter that word. The more you watch and enter, the more chances you have to win. Now the vacation is actually valued at $10,000, a nice. great vacation. Yep. The winner will be randomly chosen on May 23rd, so good luck. I wish I could go. It would be so cool. But you have never been. I've never been, so I, I, I mean, it looks great. Yes. And, can, you know, good luck Amazing. to anybody out there. With, what do they go like this? Is that what they do? Yeah. yeah. And they call it Hawaii. Yeah. It is super Hawaii, fun. that's right. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, however, it, it may feel kind of like Hawaii around here tomorrow because we're going to be in the 70s, mid 70s, uh, under plenty of sunshine. Picture perfect. It's beautiful, but you know, it's not like Hawaii, but we'll take it. Yeah. That is our time tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great evening.